right, man. Let's talk about uh, the Lions cutting the uh, Dylan Drummond. That was a surprise. So, you know, apparently they value some other guys on the roster a little bit more. Um, a lot of people say, well, that mean they picked Antoine Green over Dylan Drummond, which I ain't mad about that because they need speed. But I would have just had to carry six receivers, bro, three tight ends. I went over it in my video at 2.30. Um, that's exactly how I would have went. You know, some of them dudes they need to keep, like, I, you know, Benito Jones. And, you know, they don't need a lot of those guys, in my opinion, bro. You know. Uh, but apparently they didn't value him. They probably figure he clear ravers and make the practice squad. Um, so that's pretty much... Uh, probably what they think gonna happen but I would have kept I would have ride roll with six receivers I wouldn't have cared because a lot of those guys they got on, on on especially defensively they can do some of the same things like Melifano he can be a backup safety he can be a corner James Houston he can put his hand in the dirt and rush the pass or he can stand up he working on being a linebacker you know you look on the inside you got a Lee McNeil uh Anazorgi um, I'd cut both the Okora brothers, by the way. Anna Zorki, uh, Broderick Martin, and then you probably keep, I guess, Isaiah Bugs, which I, I don't really get the hype about, dog. And then you got Pascal, they can slide and play defensive tackle, too. So, I mean, think about it. You got Kaminsky, Hutch, Harris, um, James Houston could put his hand in the dirt, Pascal could put his hand in the dirt. You know, so... To me, I don't really get it why they covering some of these guys they need to move on from. They could easily make room for six receivers on the roster, easily. You don't need to carry more than three tight ends. You don't need more than Wright, Laporta, and, uh, and James Mitchell. That's it. You don't need the other guy. This is my opinion. I mean, like I said, I ain't watching on the preseason games. I don't I mean, I got, I be having stuff to do. <laughs> I'm not. I watched a little bit of the Jacksonville game, a little bit of the Carolina game. I'm not about to sit there and watch preseason. As long as nobody got injured, I don't put much stock into it. I remember Cam Newton had one of the worst preseasons ever, just like C.J. Stroud having, and um, he ended up having a great regular season. Game one, we stopped. We got we we stopped and got food, and everybody came to my house. We uh, game one to watch uh, Cam Newton. Well, not everybody was my homie, but the year before, every day, every year, everybody come to my house to watch the game. Used to. When I was younger. Remember, let's watch the Chicago. We was all there watching Chicago versus uh, Detroit with the Calvin Johnson rule, catch rule game. Yep. We was mad as hell. Ain't nobody want to finish. None of they Coney Island, whatever we was eating. Ain't no, man, we was mad. The Lions will dictate your mood like no other team. If my parlay ain't hit and I lost some money, a significant amount of money, any money is a significant amount of money to me. And the Lions win, I don't give a fuck about that shit. You know what I'm saying? But if my parlay don't hit or my bets don't hit and the Lions lose on Sunday, or if the Lions just lose and I don't bet, which is pretty much not a Sunday I don't bet, man, it's the worst feeling in the world. It's the worst feeling in the world. I, you know, a lot of times if I miss a part, if I miss on my bets in the 1 o'clock window and the Lions lose, I go to bed. I go take a nap. Sure will. I go take a nap. And hopefully I wake up and I and I hear some good news from my, my betting alerts. I want a bunch of money. But yep, that's how I do it. But with Dylan Drummond, bro, it's like I would have I would have kept him. I and I you know what? And I said this and it's gonna be controversial and I ain't saying this shit for shock value. I don't do that. But uh I'd have cut Marvin Jones Jr. sorry ass. He old. He old. Get rid of him. I don't know why they brought him back anyway. He old. He already gonna see me in the street to want to fight. Ain't nothing personal. He, oh, we need to retire. Go sell them bunk cakes with your wife. He, oh, he don't get no separation. He got a man. He got good. He a good possession receiver. I'd have cut his ass and kept dialing Drummond. And people gonna say, oh, you wrong. You know? I don't put much stock in Khalif Raymond as a receiver. He he's improving, but he's still a punt return guy. I don't put much stock in him with the receivers they got. They look at their receivers and they they think they you know they think they down down pieces they fine as hell and shit they not they need to add two more they need to add one more receiver with J Mo if he was going if we the suspension and all that didn't happen 
And you know, with Jay, you know, you know, with Jay Mo, they need at least one more receiver. And then they want to rush at the last minute and sign some dude from San Diego, from LA or whatever, the Chargers. I'm like, eh, I didn't get that. But Brad Brad Holmes, I don't know, bro, about that part of his game. He gotta be a little bit more do a better job forecasting some of some of their needs, bro. You gotta do a little bit better forecast. Cause if one of the receivers go down, that's your season. No matter how well you run the game ball. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack the box. I'm gonna play them tight ends, them, them receivers tight. And then no matter how good Ben Johnson is at, at creating plays or drawing up plays, if they can't get off the they can't get off the jam or they can't get separation, ain't nowhere for golf to go. Golf ain't gonna make nobody better. Golf ain't no Rodgers. He ain't gonna throw you open or make you open. He can't do that. That's what I'm telling y'all. Everything around golf has to be great. Great receivers, great tight ends, great blocking, great great running game, great defense. He cannot improvise. He can't elevate his game even for a short amount of time to make somebody better. That kind of reminds me of Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan had all that talent in Atlanta and Matthew Stafford. They just don't, they can't make nobody better. If everything is great around them, you know, they they, they keep the wheel on the boat straight. But as soon, as soon as it drop off by a fraction, your chances is gone. You got some guys like Aaron Rodgers that that that's just gonna make a great situation out of a bad, gonna make a great situation situation out of a, out of it regardless. He that good, I, you know. Aaron Rodgers is that good, bro. Tom Brady he was out there throwing up to a bunch of nobodies. What's fucking what? Not, what, not just Wes Walker, but what's the uh, Julian Edelman? You know. So a lot of these, a lot of these, you know, some of them quarterbacks they can make something out of nothing. They can make a, a a great situation or a good one out of a bad one. Golf ain't one of those guys. Carson Wentz ain't one of those guys. Kirk Cousins ain't one of those guys. If Kirk Cousins could do that, he'd probably be the best quarterback in the league. You know, I think Josh Allen's one of those guys. But the problem is they don't want to run the football with him. But if Dylan Drummond clear waivers, he's probably gonna be on the practice squad. But the thing about the practice squad, like I, I covered earlier, is once you go there, they can pay whoever they want to pay. They, anybody can sign them off your practice squad unless you match it and bring them onto the 53 man roster. So um, I ain't like it. Like I said, I ought to cut a whole bunch of people before I cut Dylan Drummond. But him not probably being the factor in special teams, special teams probably played a role in it well too, not being able to return. So check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Link tree, the first link in the description. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. Peace.